Hi there, so the Give Energy plugs have arrived. I ordered two in the end uh, through the Facebook group, uh, the Smart Plug Facebook group, uh, about £10 each plus postage. Some people were ordering lots more, uh, to about sort of eight plugs each. But I just wanted to have a couple to start off with, just to see what they were going to be like and see what I was going to do with them, really. Um, I might buy more in the future. We'll have to see. Um, so there's not much to them. I've plugged one in already. Um, I'll just show you kind of what you get in the box. So once you open the box up, you get a little piece of paper. tells you how to register if you're a new user to the app or if you've already got the app. Uh, there's not much else to say. It's got a verification and a serial code on there. The uh, serial number is tiny on here, really tiny. And I could not even read it hardly with my glasses on. So give energy, please increase the font size on the uh, serial number on the sticker on the label. The verification code that you also need on here was pretty good uh, size wise. So I could read that, but just not the serial number. And then when all the else you get, obviously, is the plug itself. I don't think I need to go into too much detail on this. It is what it is. It's a circular plug um, with a three pin socket on the back with a few details. It's got some writing on the back saying it one, it's 110 AC to 220 volts and the output is AC 110 to 220 volts and the maximum is 16 amps on here if you wanted to know. If you just want to know how kind of thick these things are, basically if I look at the thickness of it, it's about three centimeters thick. And across, I would say it's about five and a half centimeters across as well. Okay. On the box, it just says Wi-Fi remote control, smart speaker compatible, timer and scheduling, and load breakdown as well as app control. So there's nothing on there about solar access yet on the box, but hopefully we'll see that coming soon because then I think they will be absolutely brilliant uh, and not just a normal looking smart plug. Although I think the um, the data kind of breakdown, it looks pretty good already to be honest. And I think the price is really good for an energy monitoring smart plug. Right, so let's go and set one up. Plug the smart plug into an outlet, hold the power button for five seconds. Wait till it's blinking. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Hold the power button for a further five seconds and the circuit plug is blinking slowly. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure that you are currently on your home Wi-Fi network. Button below will be greyed out if you're not connected to it. Next. Yes, it is my home network. And your phone's connecting connect to the smart plug hotspot called smart plug whatever so we're just going to have a look for smart plug whatever smart life and there it is We are now connecting to the device or making it set up on my Wi-Fi. Now it's a serial number and the verification code. And the serial number is on the sticker that came in the box. God, it's very tiny. And once you've correctly entered the codes, the device should be set up and you should be on the main menu like this. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the main um, screen. This is just with one plug installed. So in the top section, when you come into your smart plugs section in the app, 
you will see the tariff summary on the top, which is getting that information from the tariff details that you supplied in your cloud dashboard. So the energy today used, the cost right now, and how much you spent in total. And then the power summary of the whole house load and the plug power summary. So at the moment I've only got one plug, so 58 watts, and then all of the other loads as well. I believe you can search for plugs under there. I've not used that yet. And then you've got the plug itself. So before we go into the plug itself, we're just going to look at these two icons uh, on the left and right. So the electricity kind of chart line on the left here. So once you're in this screen, you get a graph of then showing the power on the left hand side and the time along the bottom. And you can see the plugs in blue along the bottom and the whole house load as well. You can then go to date ranges and then you can look for certain times as well. Then if we go on the other side to the bar chart, again, you get the power, the time, and if you want to view the day's consumption, this is the total for all of the plugs and you can touch on it and see what power you were kind of using. And if you can go from daily, we can go to weekly. And then monthly as well. And then finally, well, you can go total actually. If you then click on the actual plug itself. Now from here, you can turn the plug on and off by clicking that button there, the on off button. Uh, if you go into the plug itself, uh, you will then see the graph data, the chart data for just the plug, as it says at the top here, give energy plug number one. And so from there, again, you can choose your dates and you can choose the hours that you want to look at. So you can see that at the moment I've got this connected to the, uh, to a small, medium sized, I should say, fridge freezer. And that's pulling about 60 watts sort of constantly. Sometimes it turns off and turns itself back on again, as you can see. So it's basically it's cost down there of two pence, 57 watts on current power. And this is what you get on the main screen on the left hand side. Now, if I go to the right hand side, then I get more um, details. Then I can see the totals for the days as well and the total amount spent. But the other thing I want to show you is this settings wheel at the top here. Uh, you can rename your plug. So anytime you go into the settings, you can go to name and rename the device, call it anything you want. And then you can just basically give it uh, various colors as well. If you want to change kind of the colors that it's coming up with, that's not a problem as well. And then finally, in the more information, you just get to see the serial number. And finally, you can delete the plug. So that's the real, the basics of the plug, to be honest. There's not much to it. That's what it would look like with one plug listed down here. Right, so I've added a second plug in here called Give Energy 2, as you can see. So you'll see a list of plugs down the bottom here. Uh, very similar as before. So it would just show you um, the same thing as what I showed you before, except for you've got just a different name, different plug name in here as well. Now the main difference here is what else you can do is you can group the plugs together. So instead of seeing them separately with your plug power, if I then click on the plus button, I then get an option of adding a new plug or creating a group. So from here I can then create a group. I can name the group, group one, and then I can add plugs to the group. So if I want to add both my plugs to the group, I can then create the group and now I've got my group and it's totaled how much power I'm using between the two. And then if I drill into those, so then if I go into my group, it's really just then showing me the two separate plugs then. So it's really just a way of grouping them together and totaling the actual values together. Because then it's just at this level, you can just still go into each one again and just see 
the individual plugs just like you could before okay so there's no difference really in there at all so if i want to get rid of my group and i want to take the plugs out of my group it's just so easy to do just go to the cog wheel and then what we can do is we can either then take the plugs out of the group or we can actually delete the group altogether so if we want to delete the group i'm going to delete the group and then i've got my two ungrouped plugs back again at the bottom so just as i was recording this video originally give energy go and bring out an updated version to the app so what's different well in the top as well as overview we've now got energy spend uh, for your all of your plugs so you can see uh, what they're pulling in now today yesterday in the past seven days in the past 30 days right so if you're wondering where the prices are coming from uh, in the smart plugs then you need to set up your tariff information now you can do that on your cloud uh, give energy dashboard but if you go into smart tariff and you haven't got any data here then you haven't set them up so in here it's showing me uh, that i'm on octopus go and how much i've imported and exported today uh, and my outgoing seg and things like that so if you if you don't see those values then go into your cloud dashboard and set those up and then if you go into each individual plug you now see the same thing but per plug so now today yesterday past seven days and past 30 days there's two more icons along the bottom now as well uh, on the left hand side we've got a little alarm clock now this is a little bit confusing but basically it says this timer will toggle the state the plug is currently on once set so you can get it to change state after a certain amount of time that you set and then on the right hand side there's the scheduling facility which it looks like it's coming soon uh, but you can't use it in the app at the moment or at the time that i'm making this video but what you can do is go and use the give energy alexa integration so if you want to set up scheduling within the alexa app just go into devices in the alexa app and then find your plug in this case it's smart plug one and then once you've gone into the plug if you go into the cog wheel on the top right hand corner you can just double check that that's your give energy plug which it is connected via give energy and then from there you should be able to go back out and then set kind of any or create a routine or do anything you want um, with the plug to make it turn on and off but this time via the kind of amazon of routines um, that you choose and finally on the home page you now see a light bulb and the smart plugs as well so on the uh, light bulb it shows your import and export for the day and how much you spent and then if you click on the smart plugs it then also tells you your current usage of the totals of the plugs and how much you've used today and how much you've spent so that will also appear on your inverter home screen on the app so all in all, I think these are really good. Uh, I think the price is brilliant for an energy monitoring smart plug. I've got some other energy monitoring smart plugs, basically the TP-Link Carsers. Uh, they were a lot more money, sort of 16, 17 pounds each, uh, if you can find them in stock anywhere. And then also the Sonoff uh, inline kind of energy monitoring bricks. They're okay, but not brilliant. Um, so I think these are a lot more integrated and I like the reporting on these. If we can just get the solar access working, I think they'll be really, really good. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you soon.